Hey y'all, welcome back to another Valheim video today. Today we're going to be just doing some random exploring and such, and probably a little bit of base tour. Um, as you can see, we're here in the like sleeping base I built, or like our little circle building for all of our beds and whatnot. Um, uh, my homie Ilden, Ilden and I are going to be trying to do a video soon where we just go do a ton of goblin camps in one go. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to take out the heavy set today. I might rock, rock the light armor. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I want to level my spear skill. But yeah, this is our little, you know, building. You've probably seen it if you watch the channel. Uh, I did do some, like, changes. Like, I added a row of trophies of some mobs I've recently killed. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we moved the cartography table over here now, which is awesome. It's on fire, which is cool. Um, and over here, uh, my friend Meep is the farmer. And um, if you guys watch the forest videos, you know Meep. But in Valheim, he is the farmer. He does the, the barley farms and whatnot. And he hates goblins and mosquitoes, so we put up a bunch of, of those trophies over his bed. <laughs> Um, the base is a lot emptier now, a lot more spread out and more fine-tuned now. Um, I didn't really make too many changes to the blacksmith. I've just mainly been, like, trying to keep coal and metals coming through. Because we have so much wood now at the auto farm. So, I've just been trying to keep this stuff moving, you know. So, we're probably just going to do some, like, stuff around base before we go out and set off on a little adventure. Um, but I kind of wanted to do a Valheim video today. I'm thinking about doing a forest video soon, so definitely let me know down below if you would like to see that. Um, and then obviously Friday, we have Forest Friday stream that I'm going to do. Oh, sweet. So it's only 10 left to smelt. That's great. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll get some of that going. We'll get some tin going before we head out. Should be here when we get back. You should only despawn if we don't have workbenches, and there's nothing as long as nothing snipes my workbenches from up there, be good. Let's just fill up all these, get these nice because he's going. I'll probably get the charcoal kilns going, and then we're gonna get some food and head off on an adventure. Go get some of our good foods. Sorry, allergies have been bad. I cleaned my bird's cage recently, and oh my gosh, I even wore a mask, and my allergies are still out of control. My ears are all clogged. Oh yeah, and I also uh, was experimenting with the new purple and red and orange banners. Uh, I put them in the portal hub as well. So there's a bunch there as well. I'll probably go there too. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys what I've been working on the last couple of days, and then we'll get right into the adventure. So first we gotta grab some food, and I'll be right back with, you know, torn. Oh jeez, sorry, now I have the hiccups. What is going on with me today? I'm dying. Yeah, so I want bread, uh, I want serpent stew, and I want lax pie. So I'm wearing my light armor today. We're gonna get lots of health. This is the, you know food storage closet but I expanded the shelf out here so we have some extra boxes here um, and I wanted to add another fermenter so I can get more stamina's done do I have more okay no it was only one one go and then in back here we added more storage for all the barley and barley flour <laughs> um, so we have this little expansion now and I think it looks really nice it's very chill in here honestly a great little room it's my little booze food closet. I'm oh, behind the door. Um, but yeah, and let's move over here then. Show some of the little improvements I did over here. And then we'll head on out. Um, finally spent some guck. We had literally like four left. Two or four left or whatever it was. So I ended up putting two green banners finally. So coming in, it's green going out and coming back in. Or leaving, it's green. Coming in, it's black. Thought it's a nice little color change there. Um, in here, I just added some of our random extra shields up as decoration. And 
another Wraith trophy, because those are kind of cool, and they're kind of rare to get. I don't really kill them often, so I don't get them. You know, I kind of, I finally organized all of our trophies. All the boss trophies are being used right now, but we're going to head on over to the portal hub, and I will show you what's been going on there. I did, I did a lot here, too. Um... Not only is the whole place lit up now with torches, I added trophies, like we got, you know, some leech trophies, I added banners everywhere, some more boss trophies, some abomination trophies, so it's just kind of like a super chill, nice little place now, I mean, I've been adding, like, the, uh, trophies behind the portals, it looks funny, and you can still use it, you just walk right in, and then it, you just go into the trophy, um, but yeah, I think it looks really nice in here. Um, the first time I started getting that idea is when I did this, though. But I also like putting them inside. Uh, one of these nights, I gotta do some more boss farming. I gotta kill Motor a few times. I wanna kill, you know, Elder a few more times. Ekthir. Maybe even Yagluth. Just get more trophies from all the bosses. Because they're really, they make really nice decoration. Especially Motor. I've only got two of his head. I don't know where the rest went. But, um... Yeah, definitely gonna have to do motor a bit more. We'll we'll mess with Yagluth. I have a few of his now, of his trophy. You know, bone mass is is cool, so we'll do him. Kind of just gonna farm them all while I'm waiting for new content. Um, so and this place is just really really nice now. Uh, we'll go out here too. More banners. Out here, I'm trying to also start decorating the outside. It's like you know, you may as well use the trophies and extra resources to make your base look a little bit nicer I think the banners and trophies really bring this together a little bit more and just all the random stuff that we put everywhere that I set up everywhere here now all the decorations um oh yeah and the wolf farm oh my god the wolf farm let me give you an update or the great war farm sorry let me give you an update on that holy crap So basically what we got going on right now is just insane. I set up an auto wolf breeder and, well, I haven't even been healing them and feeding them a ton. Because, uh, well, there is a ton of wolves. And our boxes are full. I have like eight boxes, black metal boxes of wood. Like two boxes of stone again. So we just did a lot of projects with stone. And I have like almost a box and a half of resin and gray dwarf eyes. It's crazy. This farm is super efficient. Especially with the auto wolf breeder in it. Um, this is just crazy. Um, oh, I forgot to go look at the plane space. We'll have to do that really quickly then. Um, yeah, this is my little auto wolf breeder. I have it blocked off because the main the reason we don't have boars at main base anymore is because it got raided by bats and they killed it all. So I had to figure out a little way to make the boxes enclosed. And it's very nice. Um... But yeah, if you build this farm, if you saw my video on me kind of building this little building here and kind of just fine-tuning this, definitely get yourself one or two star wolves. I mean, on this island, we only have one stars. I have a two star wolf, like, way down at the edge of the map. It's like on one of these islands here. But, I mean, a wolf breeder up here will get eventually get this result. <laughs> and it's just insane. Nothing can spawn. The second they spawn, the wolves just murder them. And then over here, I uh, ended up finding a 1-star and a 2-star boar on this island. So now I have a uh, 1-star breeding with a 2-star. I should really just, you know, get in a 2-star up here in the breeder. I'm going to do it eventually. But for now, we have a mixture of 1 and 2-star boars. So we will have plenty of meat and leather scraps. So I'm not that all that worried about it. Um, this took me almost an entire night to do. I was having really bad luck with the boars. They kept getting, we kept getting raided by bats when I was setting this up. And they kept dying. And I was so upset. But now it's working, and we have tons of boar meat and scraps again. And, you know, everything's working smooth at this farm. It's great. I love this. It's been so efficient, and it's just so nice to have a little bit of, you know, slight automation in this game because it is very grindy. I mean, I love the grind in this game. It's very chill, but in general... It can be a little overwhelming at times, especially solo or duo. And I mean, it's basically solo duo, even though we have three of us that play on this world at the moment. Um, because, uh, well, 
we all have different schedules, so we're all at different times. Some nights there's three of us on, some nights it's just me, sometimes it's just two of us. Like, So we kind of have to delegate, and when everyone's not on, it's kind of hard to do that. So it just makes things a little bit easier on us. Um, we're going to eat and get our health up, just in case of Duskito attacks. Um, but this is the Lox farm. I had an auto Lox breeder set up. They broke out of it, so I'm going to have to come up with another design now. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. If I figure something out that works, I will definitely post. And then over here, we have Meep's Barley Farm. Um, <laughs> he had me set up a thing of all these goblin and Deskito trophies. Just more of his hate towards them. Oh, he didn't replant yet. Okay. He just harvested. I could have sworn he replanted. Maybe he said he was going to replant tonight. But, um, yeah, this farm is huge. Like, it is massive. We, he said he wanted a big farm, so I made a big farm. Um, so much so, he hasn't even cultivated the whole thing. <laughs> um, so we have so much room for barley and possibly flax. I might move the flax over here, too, at this point. Might as well. How much space, extra space we got here. So this farm has been great. I mean, we have our locks. We have our barley. This is our little AFK shack for when I was had the locks breeder. So if I had to go do something and I had people on the world, I could just sit here and, you know, let that, um, let the blocks go. Locks are just such a pain because they do AOE damage and they keep attacking the breeder and it kept falling down. So I'm going to have to figure something out here. Like I said, I'll let y'all know if I figure something out that I like and that works. Um, I do have flax here so we could start playing flax. That's good. Because um, that way I can use it to feed the locks if we have a ton of it. All right, but we're going to go head out on a little adventure now. We got our food. You guys saw the update, what's been going on in the world, all the new things we've been working on and playing with. So um, let's definitely get exploring. Of course, it's getting nighttime now, so we're probably going to go sleep right away. But um, I did some exploring the other day off camera. I mean, we ended last time somewhere in this part of the map. I explored most of these islands with my homies. Uh, we already cleared most of the little islands we found down there. But I left off my boat, like, up here. So I'm thinking maybe I do some iron runs in the swamp or something today. Um, just in case, I'm probably going to take a crypt key. Uh, some iron runs would honestly be really nice. Bring a whole boat of iron back. I won't need to do that for a good long time.
Um, that was intense. I was just trying to set up like a camp here, get started with this iron, and oh my gosh, everything in the swamp was challenging me. Um, but we made it. Uh, I have to repair my boat now, but um, it's not the end of the world. Do that. Looks like everything was dropped back, so we are pretty set there. Um, so yeah, that was that was really intense. <laughs> Had to use our black metal axe there. Honestly, it's crazy. But let's get right into this sunken crypt now. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we're working with. Why can't I hit it? Yeah, I'm trying out the spear today, or lately. Um, just seems like a cool weapon. I haven't really played with it a lot, the fang spear. It's the highest tier spear I can make, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Especially for some biomes that aren't the uh, planes. <laughs> but yeah, let's get this uh, crypt done. See how much iron we net from this, and then, you know, see if there's any more nearby. I kind of miss doing this. I haven't done crypts in so long. Like we just did so many of them before, like on our island. We had so much iron. Like, oh my gosh, I have not like done a big iron run in a while. So I think I'm gonna like literally fill this boat with iron. <laughs> um, I'll probably do one or two crypts and then probably call it for the video, honestly. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll definitely keep doing more of me draining this whole swamp of crypts because this seems like a pretty sizable one that I could actually, you know, get a decent bit of iron from. Oh, jeez. The poison. Did it destroy the lights in here? I think it did. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I missed coins. I, I don't care about the withered bones at all. I don't necessarily care about the coins either, but... Um, what do we got here? Dead end and more muddy scrap piles. Forget, did the crypts have music or not? I don't hear any. I don't know, but the crypts have always been one of my favorite dungeons in, uh, the sunken crypts in Valheim have been like one of my favorite dungeons in this game, like, honestly. And they're just, like, super crazy and unique, I mean, I remember the first time we had, we wandered into the Black Forest and found one of those burial chambers, we thought it was the coolest thing ever. Me and my friends, and we were super new. Okay. I kind of like this weapon. It's not crazy, but the range is kind of nice. I do, definitely do not need the leather scraps. There's one thing I am not hurting on. <laughs> I actually kind of just put them in the obliterator for coal now. <laughs> I will take these yellow mushrooms too, though. Can never have enough yellow mushrooms, honestly. How far up in the map am I? Yeah, I am pretty far from where main base is. Main base is like what here? Yeah, that would be. This is gonna be one boat ride home. But honestly, it'll be worth it if I can fill that entire boat of just iron. So worth it immediately, right there, worth. Oh boy, here we go. What do we got here? Coins and mushrooms. Glowing, like I said, I'll always take glowing mushrooms. Like, um, could always use more stamina meads, you know? That's pretty much all I use them for at this point. It's just stamina meads. But, um, 
My stamina beats are great. Oh, we got more Draugrs in here. Oh, I hate the archers. to break this thing. <laughs> Playing ring around the rosy with this stupid Draugr. Oh, the damage he just did to me. Where'd my shield go? Why can I not hit this with the spear? That seems really uh, unfair. But I do want to kind of, I kind of have been wanting to level the axe skill too. So I really have not leveled this either. So honestly, like, that would be great if I could do some leveling on the axe as well, because I have not used it enough. Not nearly enough. Um, nothing great in this box. No iron, unfortunately. Though, whenever I am close to capacity here, I am probably, or maybe even just, like, after I clear this room, I might, um, take this out to, this 22 iron to the, out to the boat and store it. Um... That would be nice. I mean, I always could just store all my iron in this box, too, and just do it all at once, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards. And I'll just make, like, a pile of junk in the corner that I don't want. And I miss doing Sunken Crypts so much. <laughs> this is a pretty, uh, fairly big one too. Like, there's been a lot of rooms in here so far. So, dead end and two pathways. Seems good to me. What we got in here? What do we got? Oh, more slimes, of course. Let's try the axe on the slimes to see how that does. A little bit better. Not as fast, though. Alrighty. Explore this pathway, see this out. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, let's get all of our stats back up again. Kind of slack in here. Oh, let me hit it. Come on, there we go. Let's get that last piece. 21 more iron. Oh my gosh. Alright. This crypt is really paying off. I mean, it'd be nice if we just found, like, a box full of it, you know? I mean, that's typically how you get most of your iron from these things. Or at least the first time I did them, you found, like, 90% of your iron in the boxes. And you just got, like, some, like, pocket change iron from, like, the clusters. That's new. I've never seen the iron gates in here. Is there anything back here? No. <laughs> Just a little dead end. 
That's cool. I guess. Take more glowing mushrooms, though. Heck yeah, I will. It's more stamina meads. We've got 20. Oh my gosh, this is a huge crypt. And again, nothing super useful. I mean, like... What is up with this? These chests used to be so filled with iron. It does seem like either I'm just getting really lucky or I mean it does seem like we are getting more from these piles. At some point I would like to do some recording of me doing some frost caves. I just need to find another place where we have some. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I missed the parry. I love parrying the archers. I was like, if I was that archer, I'd be really mad that like some guy just parried me with his sword. <laughs> or parried me with his shield or some shit, and I'm using a bow. Let's wait out. Alright, so we're good on weight capacity right now. We can keep on trucking through the crypt here. We're doing pretty good so far. I feel like we're clearing this in pretty decent time. I know this is going to be one of my longer videos, but I'll try to trim it down a little bit. Cut out the unnecessary parts. So we went where we came from that way, we just went the other way. So we're going to go this way now. I hear mobs in here. It's a good sign. We're getting a lot of skill improvement. I've been dying a lot lately, though. I have uh, definitely lost my touch. Also, i kind of been messing around with light armor a little more than I should be. Especially in the plains biome, which doesn't always bid well. There we go, we got Axe to 19. Again, no scrap iron, holy. Where was the box I was throwing my iron? It was this one, right? Yeah, it was this one. Alright, so we've got 60 iron from this one crypt so far. That's awesome. That is really awesome. Man, I really hope I don't have to go back to base and repair my pickaxe. I mean, like, that's why I brought the portal, but, like, holy. It's looking like it. I can only make it all the way through. Now, one thing I don't understand is why we can have a black metal axe, but not a black metal pickaxe. Like, come on, Iron Gate. Where's our black metal pickaxe? We need it. We need more freaking black metal recipes. So there is a bone mass up here. That's cool. So now I know where another swamp is. I really don't need the gold coins. I'll take the valuables to sell for gold. But... We have so much gold at base, it's like, holy shit. I also wish they added more stuff to the merchant for us to buy. That would be so hype. And another loot room. Got ourselves a mushroom and some amber pearls, which amber pearls are really the money makers, honestly. Those things are worth so much gold. We will leave our... Like, we got like 66 iron from that. That's really not that bad, honestly. Um, but we're going to go back to base and do a couple of things. So I will see you when I am back from base. Hey, y'all. We're back. 
and we found another crypt, so we're gonna jump right into it and get this iron. So let's get this done. Let's clean this whole thing out. Oh, that one has iron in it. I'm not crazy. I knew it. Oh, hello. I guess I'll take the coins from this one. Why not? Just see how far I can run this one without having to mine anything, and then we'll start mining. <laughs> I, mean, I could probably be using the uh, helmet here, but the light, but then I really don't have a lot of armor, which is kind of unfortunate. Especially if any high level Draugrs spawn, and I lose all my Fenrir's Blessing, then like, I, I, like, I really like the speed that you can get with this armor set. It's so nice. It's probably my best, my favorite, like, it's honestly probably the best light armor set, which is what I was going to say, but it's also probably my favorite. Like, I like the root armor set. It makes you look like Groot, but, um, yeah, <laughs> this one's just amazing. What we got going on in here? Wow, this place is huge. These crypts are spawning very nice, like a lot large amounts of iron, very many rooms to explore. I really like this. These are some nice ones here. Let's hope for another shower of iron from this box. Ah, damn. Alright, well. You know, I'll take the arrows. <laughs> yeah, wow. This place is huge. Alright. I honestly might have to set up a more permanent portal here that's not just my rest portal. <laughs> I might just leave that in this swamp for when I fill up the boat. So there's a bunch of other swamps around here, so I mean, probably wouldn't be the worst idea. We are just cleaving right through all of this. It is great. So, since we are getting a ton of iron, I am going to go store mine with our other bit of iron in here. What's in here? Oh, geez. There's a lot of enemies in here. Got our work cut out for us here. Hey, Mr. Drowker, you want to go? Oh, jeez. This is crazy. And now we're poisoned. That's just lovely. We get all these valuables, though. Let's see if this goes anywhere. Yeah, I ain't trying to drown in here, that's for sure. Okay, so like, I know these used to be able to go places. I don't know if they still do or not anymore, but... That's cool, I guess. 
they still exist, these like little swimming passageways. Improving pickaxes again. <laughs> Nothing like sunken crypts to improve your pickaxe skill. Honestly. Oh, dang, I ran out of stamina at the worst time possible. It got me. I missed a piece here. Yeah, I did. Ah, damn, can't reach that. How do you guys feel about sunken crypts? Let me know how you feel about them down below. If you enjoyed this part of the game or if you just wanted to skip past it. Honestly, this has always been one of my favorite dungeons to do in this game, but I'm kind of curious what you guys think, so definitely let me know down below. I love to uh, chat with you guys in the comments section and I feel like that could bring some fun debates. <laughs> I'm also super excited for what the Mistlands is going to have to offer us, like, dungeon-wise. I heard they're working on a bunch of dungeons, and I just get so excited that I'm just like, oh my gosh, yes, please. <laughs> you know, like, definitely some, like, big-ass dungeons in the Mistlands. I mean, the Mistlands looks like it's going to be phenomenal. I literally cannot wait. I mean, I also cannot wait for Sons of the Forest, so that's coming out in a couple of months here, so... And they said that hopefully that we get the Mistlands by the end of the year, so that would be super crazy if we did. Oh jeez. We just got super poisoned there. Did we go this way at all? Like, I'm just curious. I'm just curious if I covered my base, or how much I covered my bases so far. Like, I don't think there was anything to mine over here. You know, we're good. And, that, like, this whole pathway, we're good. Um, we get anything for breaking these torches yet? No? So, I know in, like, other places, like, you can. You break torches, like, the new dungeons, you can get stuff. So, we, we only have to go that way, then. Oh, no. That's just the middle. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. We've got a ton to go yet. This is awesome. Filling up this boat really is not going to take very long. Also, guys, definitely let me know down below if you like the longer videos or the shorter videos. I mean, I'm probably going to end up doing a poll on that, too. So, definitely let me know. But, uh, I'm just curious in the meantime. You know, like, what do we think? Do we like the longer video style or the shorter? It's like, I do both, obviously. But, is there one you'd prefer over the other? Um, that'll definitely end up as a poll soon. Uh, I just might forget. Maybe I'll do it right after I stop recording so I actually remember while it's fresh in my mind. So I know this one's going to be a longer video. Um, I'm hoping I can get it down to like around 30 minutes for you guys, but we'll see. I think we're gonna after we clear this whole crypt we're gonna call it for this for today's video honestly I 
Um, also, I would love to start a forest in Valheim server. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a while. It's just... I don't have a lot of money right now. So if that's something that a lot of you would want, um, I do have a Patreon. I'll be linking that, and I'd link it in my description. Um, the money from that will be going towards the channel, um, and mainly the servers for, you know, paying for and upkeeping them. Uh, so I would love to do some streams where we just all get on a Valheim world or all get on a new forest world, you know, as a server and kind of just survive and mess around as a group, you know. Um, and any of the supporters will get access to the servers, obviously. Um, and that's how I'll be vetting people pretty much for now. I don't really know a better way, unfortunately. Um, but also if you guys are interested in, if you guys have Discord and are interested in joining my Discord, that is also going to be linked in my description below. Um, you just want to make sure you read the rules and get the verified role when you join so you have access to all the general voice chats and text channels. Um, there's a lot of channels you can join, like you can opt into Valheim, The Forest, and Green Hell channels, they're not just public. Um, you just gotta go to the bot commands and do a, a simple little command that allows you to get access to those channels. Or you can just ask for the role if you don't want to do that. Which I am also okay with doing. Um, that way you can opt into those roles on your own if you would like to. To join voice chats and text channels related to whatever games I have listed right now. Which are those three. Mainly. Oh, fuck. This could easily be a death right here. I've fucking died to two star drag or elites before. Oh shit. That is no good. <laughs> Does nothing. Oh, is he stuck? He can't move. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna use the bone mass buff. Yeah, much better. Um, oh, that even has iron in it. Alrighty, we got him. Oh, I drank a health potion by accident. I mean, I guess it's not the worst misclick, but um, so I do. I could use some health. Um, but wow, this chest was actually loaded right here. Just gonna run that right back over to my box of iron that I'm gonna be running back to the boat at some point. Um, yeah, definitely gonna be running that back to the boat before I end. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep. I'm not gonna keep that part in, but definitely gonna show our grand total of iron from today, um, which hopefully is gonna be a lot, because <laughs> we could always use iron can always find something to waste copious amounts of iron on, you know? This game is very, very iron, uh, needy, I guess I could say. Always need it for literally a little bit of everything. Um, we'll see how much more we get here. Hoping I don't have to go back and repair my pickaxe. I'm hoping that the rest of this is pretty relatively open, but it's not looking that way. Now we are gonna get some pretty decent loot in here, it looks like. More amber pearls. Oh, yes. 20 iron in there? Oh my gosh. Alright, this has been the best one so far, definitely, by far. Um, we also have a ton of other stuff that we could really use, like the amber pearls, and we got some chains, we got a bunch of gold, we got a shitload of iron so far. Running all that back to the boat's gonna be a bit of a pain, a stack at a time, but hey, we'll manage, you know? This is like two in one, what the heck? Get some bonus right now. Another one? Oh my gosh, this one has so much iron. It's crazy. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's looking like we're gonna need to do a pickaxe repair halfway through, which honestly I'm kind of okay with because um, at this point, this we're gonna need to take back a ton of iron to the boat. So this will give me the chance to start running them back, uh, stacks of iron back to the boat, I guess. I mean, if this is the end right here, maybe we'll be able to swing it without having to repair, but we'll see. See how it plays out. I'm not going to worry about that last swing with how much we got from this one. Holy hell. Oh, this is the end of it. I kind of figured this looked like a dead end. Let's definitely make sure we didn't miss anything. You know, we definitely didn't miss anything. How much iron can we take? Like if I get rid of all the heavier stuff, like how much? Okay, we can do like a stack of 20 for the first run. All right, hey y'all. Um, back here for the outro and the final iron count of the video today. This is our final count. There's almost half the boat. We got an entire row and some. That is awesome. Like I'm definitely gonna finish exploring this swamp very soon. Um, you know, if I have time, I'll definitely record some of it. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video so much. I really appreciate all y'all's support lately. Um, definitely make sure to check out the Discord. And as always, have a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next one.